We've been in business now for 26, 27 years. Uh, we produce palms and cycads, essentially for the chain store market, uh, but also independent garden centres and um, landscapers alike. Look, our biggest uh, impact was probably infrastructure. We had a lot of plants that were still quite okay. Um, nothing wrong with them. Um, they weren't windblown and tattered and shred, shredded like I thought they would have been. But the shade cloth and our infrastructure was on the ground. So sunburn was our biggest killer. I remember my sister ringing and saying, how'd you go? And I said, it's it. we're done, we're dusted, we, we've got nothing. <laughs> and that was how we felt at the time because our nursery as we knew it, had gone. And then we said, well, how do we do this? Do we rebuild like we were before, or do we try and make it a better place? So we rebuilt differently and we rebuilt better. The first thing you have to consider is your structures and how you've built them. And that preparedness comes in a long time before a cyclone goes through. You have to make sure your structures are all up to speed. Everything's got to be screwed off and braced and and good structures so nothing moves because you can lose your shade cloth but your structure's got to stay in place. Second thing you have to have is a plan of how you're going to deal with it and that was something we didn't have and probably most places aren't. You've got to be prepared for no power, no phone, no contact with anyone else. You're on your own so you've got to have a plan and preferably I think from now on we'll, as of next week, we will have an outside contact that we've got a plan of action with that they can contact the people that we need them to contact and get something going because you won't have power, you won't have power, you won't have fun. Um, and honestly you won't want to talk about it to anybody either. In terms of other preparedness there's a lot of things you can do like tying up doors and making sure anything that can blow around is away etc and, and be do all the usual things so to speak but you're never going to stop shade cloth blowing away. You've got, to have, you've got to have material on hand to rebuild. You need some rope. <laughs> you've got to have staples. You've got to have access to shade cloth. You've got to have wire. You've got to have some of your staples to rebuild. You've got to carry a little bit of that there. You've got to have poly pipe because your irrigation will be smashed around in places. You've got to have a few fittings. It will be, in future, it will be a formal plan because the staff have got to be involved. They've got to know the plan and they've got to know what their responsibilities are to our business. Most nurseries that I've dealt with over the years probably aren't prepared at all for a major event. Most of us really haven't looked at how good our structures are and most of us, again I say, probably don't have the appropriate structure to handle something like this. It might not be a cyclone, a, a freak storm event could come through and be just as bad or a flood or a fire or whatever your high risk might be. You've got to have a plan for it. One of the things that it forced us to do was to ask all sorts of questions about our business. It forced us to address every aspect of our business, which is something we should do on an annual basis anyway. And in doing so, we made the nursery a much better place. Mm -hmm.